Here I've got this nice elementary number theory problem that comes from a pretty old Swedish math contest. This comes from the year 1981. So our goal is to show that the following number is a perfect square. Let's see what this number is. I have named it X just for ease of writing as we go up here. And it's equal to 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 n times 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, n plus 1 times ending in a 5. So let's see, there are going to be n plus 1 plus n, so 2n plus 1 plus another, so there are 2n plus 2 total digits. And the main tool that we're going to use to show that this thing is a perfect square, really for any value n, is by writing it as a geometric series and using the following formula for the finite sum of a geometric series. So we've got 1 plus u plus u squared all the way up to u to the m is equal to u to the m minus 1 over u minus 1. Okay, so let's jump into the solution. So I'm going to take my number x and I'll first rewrite it taking advantage of the repeating digits. So I'll start with the ones digit, and then I'll have the tens digit, which is two times 10, all the way up to the n plus second digit. So that'll be plus two times 10 plus 10 squared, all the way up to 10 to the n plus one. Okay, so notice that's gonna be n plus one total digits that are equal to two, and they start at the tens digit. Then we're going to have a bunch of digits that are equal to 1. So how many of those will we have? Well, we have n digits equal to 1. Those start at 10 to the n plus 2. And so that means they must end at 10 to the 2n plus 1. So notice that gives us a total of n plus 1 digits that are equal to 1 at the end. Okay, and I think you could probably apply this geometric series formula to each of these objects to write it as some sort of quotient. But I think there's a bit of a shortcut. And that shortcut will be to break this into two parts, leave one on its own, and combine the other one with this. So we're always working with a sum that starts at one. Furthermore, we'll break this five into three plus one plus one for the same reason. So that's going to give us 3 plus 1 plus 10 all the way up to 10 to the n plus 1. And then plus 1 plus 10 all the way up to 10 to the 2n plus 1. Okay, so let's talk through how this combines to what we have up here. Well, we can take each of these ones and add it to 3, and that'll give us 5. We'll take the terms from 10 to the 1 to 10 to the n plus 1, add them with these, and we'll get two copies of that. Okay, we've carefully rewritten this as geometric series that start at 1, which means we can use this directly. Now let's do that. That's going to give us 3 plus, now we'll have 10 to the n plus 2 minus 1 over 10 minus 1, but notice 10 minus 1 is 9, and then this sums up to 10 to the 2n plus 2 minus 1 over 10 minus 1 again, which is 9. So next I can take this 3, rewrite it as 27 over 9, and then push these two together. So that'll leave us with 10 to the 2n plus 2 plus 10 to the n plus 2 plus 25 all over 9. So if we can factor this numerators are perfect square, we're done. And that's because we know that this must be a whole number just by the way that it's constructed. And so when we divide out by 9, we don't turn it into a rational number. It will still be a perfect square. Now this almost looks right, but not quite. Notice this 10 to the 2n plus 2 can be rewritten as 10 to the n plus 1 quantity squared. This 25 can be rewritten as 5 quantity squared. But this thing in the middle is not exactly 10 to the n plus 1. But notice that it's twice 5 times 10 to the n plus 1. So we've got 2 times 5 times 10 to the n plus 1. That's all occurring over 9. But what we have in the numerator now can easily be factored. 
that factors as 10 to the n plus 1 plus 5 quantity squared all over 9, which we can rewrite as 10 to the n plus 1 plus 5 over 3 squared. And then there are several reasons we know that this is a whole number, but let's just notice the numerator here has a digit sum of 6, which is divisible by 3, so all of the stuff inside of this perfect square is most definitely a whole number. And that's a good place to stop.